With this problem, we're given the scenario that Mario wants to put a fence around the pool in his backyard. One side is adjacent to the house, so he only needs to fence three sides. In other words, the house encloses it on one side. There are two long sides, and the one shorter side is parallel to the house. He needs 155 feet of fencing to enclose the pool. The length of the long side is 10 feet less than twice the width find the length and width of the pool area to be enclosed. So what we're looking for is the length and width. That's what we're looking for, the length and width of the pool area to be enclosed. So let L equal the length and W equal the width. Now what are we given? Well, we know that we have two lengths. I, I went ahead and drew this picture over here. Again, any time we have a geometric problem, we need to draw the picture for clarity's sake. So we have two lengths and one width. And we know that the sum of these three sides, the lengths of these three sides, is 155. So our first equation is 2L plus W, we know, equals 155. Now we're also told that the length of the long side is 10 feet less than twice the width. So the length of the long side, so L is, length is equals 10 feet less than twice the width. So 2W, 10 feet less would be minus 10. So here's our system of equations. Now, since we already have solved for L in our second equation, it makes sense to just substitute this into our first equation. So 2L, which in this case we've solved for, is 2W minus 10 plus W equals 155. We're just taking what we, what we have in our second equation and we're substituting it into the first equation. So that gives us 4W minus 20 plus W equals 155. So 5w, 4w plus w, and let's add 20 to both sides, that equals 175. And if we divide both sides by 5, we get 170 divided by, 175 divided by 5 is 35. So now with our second part, we substitute W equals 35. So we'll put that into both of our equations. 2L plus 35 equals 155. Subtract 35 from both sides, we get 2L equals 120. Divide both sides by 2, and we get L equals 60 feet. So each one of these sides is 60 feet. It's a pretty big area. So then we also know that L equals 2W minus 10. So L equals 2 times W, which was 35, minus 10, which equals 70 minus 10, which equals 60 feet. So we solved for, thus far, the width is 35 feet, and the length is 60 feet. So we still want to check this. So let's check by substituting into both equations. So 2L plus W, two lengths and a width we know is 155 feet. So does 2 times 60 plus 35, does that equal 155? So that's 120 plus 35, does that equal 155? And it indeed does 155 equals 155. So our solutions check in our first equation. What about the length being 10 less than 2 times the width? So we'll write down the equation L equals 2w minus 10. So we want to know, does 60 equal 2 times 35 minus 10? So does 60 equal 
70 minus 10. And again, our solution checks because 60 does equal 60. So we can say definitively that the width of the pool area is 35 feet and the length of the pool area is 60 feet.